Hello everybody, this is CJ Wiley with more Adventures on the Road. I talked about my uh, old road partner, Weldon Rogers, who was the best one-handed player, or maybe uh, he always said little Sergio from California was the best. You know, Mike Massey's also a great one-handed player, jacked up. Weldon said he saw him run uh, five racks in a row on a bar table, one-handed jacked up. I think it was against him, if I'm not mistaken. So Mike uh, could really play at one time. You know, most of us know about his uh, trick shot excellence and uh, his forte with uh, mixing pool shots with magic, with just finger pool and all kinds of cool stuff. So, uh, yeah, Mike's one of the all-time greatest entertainers. But uh, Weldon could get the money, and uh, we have won a tremendous amount together. And one of those times... Uh, See, I was over in North Carolina with o Omaha John, and we went to this bootleg place out in the middle of nowhere. It was by the PD River near Albemarle, Albemarle North Carolina. A guy named Sharky was uh, the target there. He owned the place, and he was, come to find out, a pretty dangerous man. Uh, supposedly, his uh, girlfriend killed herself shooting herself in the back of the head with a shotgun at his house. I didn't know that at the time. And uh, when I was there, uh, I beat him out of a little over 6,000. And then a few days later, Omaha John went home. And I was out at a picnic table with some guys uh, drinking a beer and uh, having a little smoke, I think you would call it these days. Uh, <laughs> anyway, out of the woods came a uh, stick-up man with a nylon over his face and uh, I've told that story before he, he ended up getting my money but only $200 of it and I slipped the other 4800 I think I had 5000 on me under my seat uh, on the uh, picnic table where it was dark and uh, managed to get away as a car came by the gunman went back into the trees and I ran into the, uh, the place and actually got a gun and went out fired over that picnic table three times and uh, evidently I didn't hit him. The next day the police came and that was kind of awkward because I was using a different name and saying I was from a different place. I was Mike Hulse, H-U-L-S-E, from Marion, Indiana. I went by that for many, many years. But anyway, later I found out that uh, that Sharky was probably the one that had me robbed. And that made sense because the only time I'd ever seen him pass out, he would drink a lot and uh, took certain other types of uh, enhancement to play pool. But that particular night he was passed out on the couch. And that's when we got robbed. So uh, the guy that told me was pretty sure... So later, when I was with Weldon, uh, we decided to go take dead aim on uh, Sharky. <laughs> we put the re-rob on him. So uh, I went in there and uh, played a day or two. And, you know, of course, I already knew Sharky. But uh, Weldon came in, and, and we ended up matching up. And I gave him the 7-8 uh, in the break. And then I gave him the 6-7-8-9 in the break. And he played one hand, and I played two. Of course, I beat him. And uh, he stayed there the next three days and uh, proceeded to beat Sharky out of about at least 12,000 that I remember. It was like he was averaging uh, three or 4,000 uh, a day for like three or four days. So he put a good drumming on him. And, uh, you know, that's what he gets for having people robbed, in my opinion. Anyway, I stay out of that world nowadays, but uh, it's fresh on my mind. And I learned a lot hanging around uh, those pool rooms and seeing what life was really about at the, uh, the core level. I've seen probably the best pool hustlers in the world, how they operate. I've traveled with them, and uh, they also played cards. I've, <laughs> I've been friends with master magicians and... Uh, you know, it's just another world. That's why I don't play cards or dice. I've seen people that can just do whatever they want with them. And, uh, just like I can with a pool cue, uh, you know, they can do it. If there's money involved, <laughs> I would recommend you really know where you're at if you're going to gamble with people. So 
If you like this story and uh, want to follow me and learn my uh, fundamentals, techniques, and systems I use to become the number one player in the world and ESPN world champion, uh, come join me at www.masteringpocketbillards or just CJ Wiley, if that's easier to remember. CJ, easy to remember, easy to say. <laughs> anyway, till next time, I'll talk with you then.